Hi everybody, Adam here. Welcome back to our Lego room. In today's video, we're taking a look at three awesome new instruction sets that have been released by Brick Train Depot. I'm a huge fan of Brick Train Depot and the work that they do. Always, you know, excellent models that they release and, you know, a lot of fun to work through building them. So highly recommend checking out their website. Now the new instruction sets that they released that I picked up are the Trackside Depot, the USRA 060 steam locomotive, and the 148 scale PS 4750 hopper. First off, taking a look at the Trackside Depot model and instructions for this depot were designed by Road Monkey TJ. Really amazing work here, both on the overall structure and all of the details that have gone into the depot. Now with our mills uh, sort of conversion done and working around our layout, one of the areas that we're gonna be looking to add and fill in are a number of stations and depot areas and this really fits the bill I think as an excellent uh, model that would be a great addition around our layout and could be an awesome model to take to train shows as well. Now the model is based off of mills. It looks like it's a one by three footprint uh, with the uh, standard 32 by 32 base plates. So not too bad, but a, you know, a decent size. It should really stand out and look nice uh, wherever, wherever we end up displaying it. And, you know, as I mentioned, when I was looking at this model, the, you know, not only did the overall structure uh, of the platform and the building really catch my eye, but I also noticed right away all of the excellent detail work. Really big fan of the, the benches here along the platform. You know, some great little sign areas on the, the building. Also a really big fan of these nice details under the awning of the roof. Uh, really pops, looks nice. Adds some interesting visual touches there around the, the roof line. And, you know, just general nice uh, structure work, both along the, the platform here and up along the roof line. I think that roof looks really nice. And I'm a big fan of the color work they've chosen here. I think that uh, it all works really well and should result in an excellent looking depot. Now, I don't have pictures here to show at the moment, but the detail work that you see on the outside here carries on into the inside of the depot as well, which I think is a nice touch. You know, it would be uh, easy to just have the interior be more of an empty shell, but they've gone to a lot of work to add, you know, structure to the interior uh, that you would expect to see in a depot like this around sort of freight handling and sort of the offices and where uh, workers would uh, operate inside the depot. So really looking forward to building this depot out and adding it to our layout. Now taking a look at the locomotive and train car instruction sets that we picked up as well. Both of these models are 148th scale. Really happy about that. I think they should fit in nicely with the other 148th scale models from Brick Train Depot that we've already built. And, you know, should be a nice size around the, the layout. And I think should allow for some really nice details to be uh, sort of created through the build process here as we work through these instruction sets. Now, taking a look at the PS4750 Hopper first. This model was designed by Bricktail Studios and the instructions were done by Cam's Brick. 
first thing that really caught my eye with this particular model was the excellent uh, texture work done by the, the designer. Big fan of the texture down the side of the hopper here. Great visual interest and really catches your eye, I think. And, you know, it carries on into the underside of the, the hopper here with these great details underneath. Also really like the work on the ends of the model here with the, the ladder rungs and the, the top looks like it's gonna be pretty nice as well there. You know, a hopper is a fairly straightforward train car in the grand scheme of things, but uh, you know, definitely a lot of different versions of hoppers that you see in the real world and that show up in uh, Lego instruction format like this. And I think that this particular one here is going to be an excellent addition to our layout, especially once we manage to get a few of them built. I think together they will really stand out and be a nice addition to our layout. For this particular train car, I picked the Union Pacific decals. So Looking forward to seeing how those decals come together and what they look like, but I think they should be a nice addition to the model as well. Now, looking over at the USRA 060 steam locomotive, this model and the instructions were done by the American Brick Locomotive Company. Excellent work here. Big fan of this type of steam engine and really steam engines in general. I think this has a nice look to it here. A lot of excellent details. Uh, you know, and I, in particular, I appreciate the, the roof color here and how that works with the, the rest of the coloring on the, the locomotive and the tender. Uh, you know, an authentic detail, but I think also one that just helps this locomotive to stand out versus other locomotives and should be a nice detail to see as it moves around the layout. Also, a lot of, you know, interesting detail and texture work again here, you know, along the top part of the locomotive and down by the wheels here with all the, all the rod work there. Uh, Lots of pipes along the, the side here of the locomotive. Just a lot of excellent details packed in here. So quite excited about that. And the, the tender looks nice as well. So I think that this should be, should be a really nice looking locomotive when it's done. I'm interested to see how uh, you know, the build goes and how this, this model shapes up, but you know, based on this image of the final product, I have high hopes for it. And like I said, I think it'll be a nice addition to the rest of the locomotives that we are building for the, the layout. So overall, quite pleased with all three of these instruction sets. I am waiting on decals to come for the locomotive and the, the hopper. I will show you guys those decals once they arrive. But overall, I think these are gonna be amazing models that will be you know, uh, great additions to our layout and our train collection. As I mentioned, I've built several models by Brick Train Depot before. Uh, they look awesome on the, the layout here, and I've got a large queue of their models uh, lined up to build in the future as well. So these are great additions to that lineup, uh, you know, our personal lineup, as well as the, the Brick Train Depot product backlog. So, you know, if you have not checked out their website, highly recommend going over there and taking a look at all the interesting instruction sets they have for sale there. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, please make sure to do so, so that you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. And thank you very much for watching. We will see you again soon. Take care, bye.